So hello everyone. Thanks for joining us today and happy summer vacation. It's official. I hope everyone is enjoying their summer so far. And we've got lots of fun activities with the library. I'm sure you have lots of fun activities with your teachers. So hopefully it'll be a fun summer. We have some activities. You can learn Spanish with Mr. William and that's right after this at 11 o'clock. So if you want to learn Spanish, or maybe you know how to speak Spanish, but you haven't really practiced reading it, then you can learn with Mr. William. We have Mad Science coming to the park. Has anyone here seen Mad Science before? I know they used to visit schools and hopefully we'll start visiting schools again. It looks like a D tree ass. When will it start? It's gonna start in like one minute. And Isabella said, yes, mad science. So watch the screen. There it is, mad science. So that'll be Thursday, July 8th, 1030 at Arlington Park. Arlington Park is in the Bergen Lafayette area. I think it's by the Maya Angelou School. So if you go there or in that area, Ursa Webb isn't too far if that's your school. We also have summer steam clubs happening. And these are all in real life. So we get to go outside, enjoy the sunshine. We don't have to look at a screen all day. And now it's 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna stop sharing. There I can see faces. Hi everyone. Since it's summertime, I brought my summer shades for the story time so I can be ready to listen with uh, safe eyes. You've got to protect your eyes from those UV rays. People forget that your eyes can get burned too. So it, make sure you're always keeping your eyes shaded. If you don't have sunglasses, it's good to have some sunglasses to keep your eyes safe. So I grew up in Florida and I didn't wear sunglasses. And now I always have to go out with sunglasses because it hurt my eyes so much. And I don't want that to happen to you. But Miss Emily and Miss Vanessa are reading us a story today to go with Miss Jenna's activity. So Miss Jenna's gonna be teaching us about how to eat healthy and of course, mindfulness and some yoga and grapes. And it's so funny because Miss Emily's reading a story called Go Grapes. So um, who will go first? Is it Miss Vanessa? Uh, it doesn't see. matter. It doesn't matter. Miss Emily, you want to go first? I go first. I mean, I feel like the grapes thing is a good segue into your book. So I think you should go first. <laughs> All right. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, like Miss Jenna has, grapes are a good fruit to eat. They're one of my favorites. So I actually have a book, and it's also like a chant, so we can... Um, say it like a chant. Um, it's called Go Go Grapes. So just like if you have a favorite sports team, you could have a favorite fruit. <laughs> Mine's grapes. All right, can we see the screen? All right. Oops. Ra ra rabbit raspberries. Go go grapes. <laughs> Let's say that. Go go grapes. Woo! Go oh, grapes. So in this book, you might see some of your favorite fruits or maybe fruits that you've never seen before. Um, but one thing's for sure is that fruit is nature's candy. So who needs Sour Patch Kids when you could have grapefruit like grapes? <laughs> Savor the flavors, find fruity shapes. Blackberries, blueberries, bag a bunch. Strawberry season, let's munch a munch. Hello, Tangelo. Tamarillo shines. Look at all these beautiful colors. Cactus and Kiwano, prickly spines. Cheer for cherries, woo, -woo tart or sweet. Bananas, oranges, peel and eat. As for apples, round and ripe. Look at all these beautiful apples. Apples are one of my favorites too. 
Try them, pie them, red, green, stripe. Pineapple, pomegranate, take your pick. Yell for yumminess, woo, kiwis quick. Grab a guava, live for lime. Pucker up, pal, it's lemon time. Ooh, lemon's nice and sour. Nectarines, tangerines, hit the spot. Glum, go for a plum or an apricot. Try a papaya, rambutan, romp. Ooh, so here's some ones you may not have seen before. Uh -oh, spiky. Mango, mangosteen, chomp, chomp, chomp. Grapefruit, dragon fruit. What a find. Cantaloupe, watermelon, mind that rhyme. We got some watermelon that's good for summer. What are some folks' favorite fruits you can put in the chat? Figs are fabulous. Currants call. Love a lychee, fruit eyeball. Oh, looks like a little eye. Reach for a peach, fuzz is fine. Pluck a persimmon, then durian dine. A lot of these are eaten in in Southeast Asia. Share a pear, picked by hand. Treats from trees and from the land. Baskets, bushels, seasoned sun. Feel it, peel it. Fruit is fun. Woo, go fruit, woo. Look at all these colors and shapes. Um, so fruit always makes us feel good. It's good for our bodies and for our minds. So, yay, go fruit. <laughs> I'm gonna stop share. Yay, so go fruit. <laughs> I hope you guys all like fruit. I'm gonna pass this to Miss Vanessa. She's gonna read us another story too. Hello everyone. So I kind of am going to read something similar to Miss Emily that does have some fruit and food in it, but it also has some yoga poses. So it's food and yoga, and you actually can make some of these recipes at home. It's some healthy food. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this going. Can everybody see? Okay, so this is called Yummy Yoga. And it's some children and some fruit showing us some yoga poses. Let's get started. And I believe this is the lady that will be um, showing us some of the recipes that we'll be seeing in the book. So this is the triangle pose. So we have our young man here showing us the triangle pose. And if you want to pose along with our little young man here and uh, our fruit, um, Hello. we're going to see what we're going to do here, what kind of recipe we have. So this is called holy broccoli. And this is how you would make this special recipe. So any of the fruits and vegetables we see doing the yoga poses, you can actually use to make some of these recipes. And you can get this on Hoopla, so, and it'll be really easy, I'm sure, to make a lot of these. So this one is called the Lotus Pose. If you can do the Lotus Pose, like this young lady here and our uh, lovely dish right next to her, let's see what type of food this is. This is a uh, hearty artichokes, green beans, and leeks dish. So you can see all of the ways to prepare it, not all the ingredients here. And I know some people might not have eaten artichokes, but if you roast them and bake them, they're really delicious. Next pose is the plank pose. And I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of these poses soon. Plank pose, I can't do it here because I'm at the library, but I know how to do that. And that, that helps work your, your tummy and your core. Let's see what we have. Ooh, so those fruits there, we can use to make a banana berry smoothie. And I love smoothies. They're very delicious. And like Miss Emily said there, you don't need a candy if you have delicious sweet fruit. So this is the warrior pose, right? I like the warrior pose. Something like this. So let's see what we're making with corn. Corn on the cob with a twist. So this actually looks like Mexican corn. If some of you have gone to a Mexican restaurant, um, you can get Mexican corn. Just tell them to hold the chili because they do make it very spicy, but it is still very yummy and delicious. 
Next is the tree pose. So just like this young lady here, if you can do the tree pose and our broccoli on the side, let's see what we can make with this broccoli. Swell shells and super spears. So it's broccoli, pasta, and asparagus. Asparagus is very good for you. It helps clean your system. So this is a good dish to eat, nice and healthy. Next is the cat pose. So I like the cat pose. It's really good for your back. So stretch out like that. I can't really do it here again because I'm in the branch, but see the cat pose here. And let's see what we're making with our fruit. Oh, this is really good for the summer, power pops. So you can use carrot juice, you can use fruit juice. And in the middle, this is a nice twist. You have a little slice of kiwi. It looks delicious and very pretty. Next, we have the downward dog pose. So I'm sure a lot of you have done this, yeah. downward dog pose. And the little guy here, he almost looks like he's in the shape of a triangle. So let's see what dish we can make. Mini eggplant pizzas. This actually is something that I might try at home. This looks really good. Who doesn't like pizza? And instead of having the dough, we can use some eggplants. So these are all the ingredients and exactly how to make this yummy eggplant pizza dish. Next, we have the forward bend pose. This one is tough for some people if you can't touch your toes. But with yoga, the point is every time you do it, little by little, reach further. And trust me, you'll get to your toes soon. I'm, I'm probably like you guys, um, it's going to take me a while to touch my toes. I used to be able to do it. So um, we have our peach and watermelon. Let's see what we're going to make. Oh, this is very simple. It's watermelon skewers. So if you ever go to a barbecue and you get those skewers with the meat on it, like a shish kebab, instead of having the meat on it, you can get some melons and put them on a skewer and eat them just like that. And if you don't know, um, roasted watermelon on a barbecue is really delicious. I don't know if anyone has tried that, but I love it. So you can do yoga just like these young kids and apparently your food can do it too, which is really, really cool. So this last few pages just goes through all of the different poses that I went with you today. And if you wanna try them, go ahead. And if you ever wanna to try to make any of the dishes, you can always check out Hoopla and check out this book, Yummy Yoga. So I'll stop sharing my screen and turn it back to Miss Kate and our guest. Thank you. That one made me a little hungry. I love that. And both of those books were on Hoopla. So if you have a library card, you can check them out for free and you can make the recipes or read Go Go Grapes um so yes thank you so much I'm trying to do, do all the spotlight so now we have our special guest miss jenna from mama stay calm hey everybody hopefully you remember Hi. her we've hosted her before and everybody had such a good time of course we had to ask her back and don't forget you can see her in real life next tuesday 9 15 at ursula park in the bergen lafayette part of jersey city so miss jen is going to teach us how to eat healthy and of course help us practice our mindfulness and yoga so i'm going to hand the spotlight over to miss jenna thank you so much miss jenna we're so excited thank you guys how is everybody doing this morning? Can I see any thumbs up or hi or how we're feeling? Maybe we can type hi. How are you, Isabella, Aditri, Danielle? Hello, hello. Yeah, so we can talk, we can type in, I'm feeling happy today, however you wanna feel. But all right, so we're gonna get started with some beach day yoga today. How am I feeling today? I am feeling energized and excited because I had a really healthy breakfast this morning. And I had some oatmeal and some blueberries and it was really delicious. Yeah. Oh, everybody's doing good. So we're going to go to the beach today. Okay. So in our minds, we're going to imagine that we're at the beach and we have to get prepared by packing a healthy lunch. So Miss Jenna brought along some fun snacks and I'm going to start with, does anybody know what these are? Those are grapes. 
Yes. So does anybody know the color of these? Green grapes. Green. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're delicious. So I love grapes. Yes. Grapes are really good for our eyes and they're very good for our immune system. Does anybody know what an immune system is? Anybody know what an immune system is? Yeah. It's like the part of the brain. It helps us to protect our body from getting ill or sick. And these, especially this color, helps our body from getting sick. Yes, the system, yes, exactly. So does, I'm gonna put these in my beach bucket today for my lunch. What do you think? Does anybody That's like a good them? idea. <laughs> Those are good, right? And sometimes you can put them in the freezer and you can even freeze them. So when you bring them somewhere hot, they stay cold. Isn't that cool? Look at this little grape. I this know. Little guy. Mm. <laughs> 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 then what I thought would be really cool next would be some, does anybody know what this is? That's a watermelon? Yeah, it's a watermelon. And what color is this? That's red. Yes, it is red. You're right. And this watermelon not only has so much vitamins in it, but it also has water. It's like 98% water. Is that a lot of water or a little bit of water? It's like a little lot. I say a little lot. A lot. That's right. A lot of water. So if you guys take watermelon and eat it, this watermelon actually gives you water and food. How cool is that? Isn't that awesome? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that guy got away from me. So this one's going to go on my little beach bucket too. What do you think? Isn't nice. That beautiful so far? Mm -hmm. Okay. So next up, I was thinking that I would make a sandwich and potato fries. But this is going to have a little bit of a kick. So my bread, what color is this? This is brown. Brown. Can you see all that? That's it. Yes. What are those? Seeds. Are those seeds? Right. So these little seeds, I don't know if you can see them, but they're flax seeds, there's oatmeal, there's pumpkin seeds. All of these tiny little seeds come with so many benefits. They have healthy fats, they have fiber, and you can put them on bread. Did you see that? This bread comes with little seeds. So it gives it like a little crunch. Isn't that exciting? Mm. I know. Okay, so on this piece of bread, does anybody know what this is? Is that chicken? It's chicken, that's right. So this chicken is actually a baked oatmeal chicken cutlet, and I'm uh, going to put it right on my sandwich. What do you think about that? This is really brown, isn't it? I made it all brown. Do you think we need some color? Yeah. Yeah, right? I like that I could hear you. <laughs> if you don't get chicken, you can try some other protein. Um, and the seeds actually have protein as well. So if you don't eat chicken, maybe you can do some tofu. Or if you like fish. Oh, I love fish. Mm, me too. I like sushi. What is this? A red cherry tomato. No. A tomato, right? So maybe we can add a little color to our sandwich with a tomato. Mm -hmm. And tomatoes are super good for you. And they also have water, which is really great and hydrating for our body right? Our body needs water for all of its functions. I love baby tomatoes too. <laughs> and you can eat a whole watermelon. Me too. Me and my baby boy, we eat watermelon all the time. My son's two years wow. old. <laughs> it's his favorite. And what is? That's a leaf. <laughs> it looks like a leaf, right? Kind of like from a tree. Do you know what you can eat leaves? Now, somebody, some of these people are giving me some good options. Kale, spinach. I think arugula. Who, who said arugula? One of oh. our kids. <laughs> yes, it's arugula. So my son and I love to say this word, arugula. So we can put <laughs> arugula on our sandwich, okay? So here we go. So this sandwich looks mighty delicious. And I bet at the beach, we can eat this, right? And it will fill our bellies and we can run around a lot more, jump in the waves, right? 
So I'm gonna put that right in my beach bucket. And the last thing I wanna show you, who likes French fries? Me. I do, I do, I do. Right, I love <laughs> French fries. So this French fry starts as a purple potato. Can anybody see that? Has anybody seen a purple potato before? Never heard of it. This purple potato is so good for your body. And all you have to do is slice it and bake it in the oven. And it tastes just like a French fry, but it has this funky color. Who likes that? I like it. Wow, right? Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So maybe when you guys talk to mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or a brother or a sister, why don't you tell them that we found a purple potato and maybe you can make some cool purple potato fries. What do you think? Cool. All right, I'm gonna throw that in my beach bag too. I think I'm pretty filled up. You guys think that this is gonna fill my belly? Whoa, right? So we have a lot of different healthy options, okay? The last thing I wanna share with you is coconut water. Oh. So it doesn't have to be this. Okay. <laughs> but does anybody like coconut? Uh, I never do. heard of it. Follow the drink, buckle. Okay, so coconut water has potassium just like a banana. Okay, so if you're going to the beach or if you're going to the park or you're going somewhere hot and you don't have watermelon or grapes or water or anything, coconut water is so good for our bodies. <laughs> Your sister drank some yesterday. Yeah, so we can do coconut water, watermelons, grapes, tomatoes, all have water. Cool? Is anybody ready to go to the beach with me? What do you think? Yes. Yes, cool. All right, so first I wanna stand up and shake out the sillies. Who's ready to stand up with me and who's ready to shake the sillies with me? Anybody? I am. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So the Wait first thing, yeah. <laughs> the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come to stand up. Can I see or maybe imagine you all standing up? Can you all stand up for me? Okay, do you have arms and legs? Did you come with your arms and legs today? Very good. All right, can you take your feet and can you stomp them in the earth for me? And I want to hear that you're really here, all right? So let's get those feet and can we really stomp them? All right, now can you take your arms up and can you shake all 10 of your fingers for me next to your body? Very good, can you take a deep breath in? And when I'm in a deep breath, I want you to imagine that you are a big puffer fish and this body is blowing up with air, okay? Big breath in. Lift your arms really high to the sky. Can you say hi to the sun? Hello, sun. Hello, the sun. Can you say hi to the graph? Hello, graph. Okay, one more big breath in. Tuck your chin, lift your arms all the way up. Now, can you take your hands to your heart? This is really important. Can you close down your eyes? Now, I want you to think of a really silly, funny moment that made you belly laugh, like the kind where your belly hurts a little bit after. Okay, now, I want you to flick open your eyes, remember the moment, and I want you to start jumping. Can you start jumping up and down for me? Up and down, up and down. Good, take your arms out wide. If you have enough room, can you turn in a circle to the right? Turn in a circle to the left. Big breath in and stop. All right, we're gonna do that one more time. We're really gonna shake out the sillies, okay? I want you to think of that really silly, funny moment. Take both hands to your heart. Close down your eyes. Take a big breath in. And then, can you start jumping for Miss Jenna? Take out your arms wide. Circle to the right. Circle to the left. One more time, one big circle to the right. And a circle to the left. And stop. Okay, take a big breath in, lift your arms. Big breath out, hands to your hips. Today we're gonna to be taking a short trip to the beach. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. I kinda of wanna be there. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is sunshine arms, ocean breath. Okay, first is sunshine arms. Ocean breath is like the sound of the ocean. So I want you to come to sit. And if you can sit, 
crisscross applesauce for me. I'll give you a moment to get there. Now I want you to imagine that there's a bunch of sand underneath your body and it's nice and warm so it makes you feel cozy. Now I want you to take your arms alongside your body with your palm, this is your palm, your palm facing up. What we're gonna do is take a deep breath in, sunshine arms, like you're creating a huge sunshine up and over your head. Take your hands together, and when you breathe out, I wanna hear the ocean. So you're gonna open your mouth wide when you blow out. Big breath in, big breath out. Two more times. One big breath in. One more time. Huge breath in. Big breath out. Very good. So on the beach, there's something called a palm tree. All right. So what we're going to do first is come to stand. So everybody take your time coming to stand. And we're going to create a blowing palm tree with our body. So the first thing we need to do is do tree pose, correct? So let's take our one foot and stomp it into the ground. All right. Now, our right foot is going to create a small kickstand next to our ankle with your toes on the ground. Take your hands to your hips. All right. Now you're gonna take your arms out wide like they're palms on a palm tree. And I want you to think about what it's like to feel a breeze. So can you blow your palms around? All right, now if you're feeling like you wanna lift your leg a little bit, maybe you can lift your leg up or you can keep it down. Whatever feels good for your palm tree today. And blow around a little bit. Keep blowing, keep blowing. Good. All right, now bring your hands to your hips. Bring that other foot down. Can you stomp two times? Turn your toes out, other side, lift your arms blowing those palms around. And maybe if you want to come up a little bit higher and breathe in. And just be mindful of your body. If you want to keep your foot down, you can keep your foot down too. Miss Jenna likes that today. Hands to your hips and bring your feet together. Now, Miss Vanessa read us a book that had Warrior Two in it. And I'm actually going to be doing warrior two pose today, but we're going to pretend that we're surfers on a surfboard, okay? So we're going to imagine that our yoga mat or whatever's underneath your feet is going to be a big surfboard. Now, can you step out really wide for me and take your hands to your hips like you're a superhero? Very good. All right, now you're going to turn your toes out and bend your front leg and your back leg is going to be straight. Now, surfboards are quite narrow. So we have to stay in this tiny little space here. Lift your arms up. Now, waves come kind of high sometimes. So I want you to imagine that you're going through the waves. Can you move your body for me? And maybe a wave comes and you kind of have to bend forward. Whoa! Whoosh. Can you ride up a really tall wave? Can you bring your hands to your back leg and lift that arm up all the way high? Whoa, this is a big wave. Whoosh. Come back down, arms up. Take your hands to your hips, straighten your front leg, bring your toes forward. We're going to create a starfish, arms out really wide, lift your heart towards the sky and look up. Take a big breath in. Now, can you twinkle your star with your fingers? Twinkle. Good. Now, can you fold your star in half? All right, now listen carefully. Can you bring your right hand down and your left arm up for a twisty star? Can you come to half starfish? The other arm down, other arm up. So right arm up, left arm down, twisty star. Good, okay, half star. Hands to your hips, tuck your chin, roll all the way up. Are you ready to surf on the other side? I'm so excited to hit this wave. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Okay. Oh, don't stomp too loud if you have neighbors. Yeah. Oh, your pug tried to kiss you. Puppies are so cute. <laughs> All right, you're gonna take one leg forward, the other leg back, bend your front leg, 
Here we go. Are you ready to ride this wave? Oh my goodness, here it comes. Well, we're gonna go up really high. Here we go, here we go. Bring your arm up, the other arm down the leg. Whoa, how high and wet is this wave? <laughs> Good. Can you bring your arms back to where they came from? Can you hinge forward a little bit? Can you go backwards a little bit? Whoa, balance, balance. Good. All right, take your hands to your hips, straighten your front leg, turn your toes forward. Can you gently hop your feet together? Okay, we're gonna take a big breath in, say hi to the sun. Big breath out, bend your knees. Can you touch the sand? Whoa, there's so much warm, comfy sand underneath Miss Jenna right now. Maybe you guys can imagine the same. Bend your knees, roll all the way up. Now, I have a question. Does anybody know what you sit on at the beach when you get sleepy or tired? Does anybody know what you sit on? Yes, the beach tree. On a chair? A chair, a towel, a chair. A towel. Right. So I'm going to go with chair and towel, okay? Chair and towel. You can also bring a rug. Why not, right? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to be beach chairs, okay? So first thing we're going to do is take our hands to our hips, okay? Secondly, you're going to sit back almost like you're sitting on a chair, okay? So you have to imagine this is a beach chair, so it's quite low. Now, can you take your arms to the sides like this? like they're on little armrests. Now in this beach chair, I have some grapes. Can you eat some grapes? Oh, your legs might be burning a little bit right now. Rock from side to side, side to side. Can you take your other hand and can you take a sip of water? <laughs> Good, now take both hands and wave to your friends in the waves. Hey guys. All right, take your hands to your hips, two straight legs. Did anybody feel the difference in their legs when they sat? in the chair, what did it feel like? Anybody? Yes, Isabella? You wanna to type to me what it felt like in the chair? Relaxing. <laughs> the chair can feel relaxing, exactly. But when we're in chair pose, do you feel your muscles working a little bit? If you're sitting there for a while, right? Yeah, exactly. So what we do is we work our muscles to make us nice and strong. It's like squatting, exactly. So we'll make our muscles nice and strong, but then we're going to stretch our muscles. So are we ready to shake out our beach towels? All right, so what we're gonna do is pretend that we're picking up a towel from the sand. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, bend your knees. This one might be a little heavy because it has a lot of sand on it. Now, we're gonna shake our towels from side to side. So can you shake your body from side to side, side to side, drop your head, shake your towel. Woo! Maybe shake your lips too. Sometimes it's fun to go like this. Woo! So can you shake your towel for me? Woo! Shake it, shake it. <laughs> Good, now come to roll all the way up. Now we're gonna roll our towels back out. So can you just lay them down? Make it nice, flatten it out. Good. So our next pose is going to be a swimmer. It is, oh, thank you. I hope you're having fun. <laughs> if anybody knows any strokes from swimming, does anybody know any way to swim? The breaststroke, the backstroke. Backstroke. Yeah, <laughs> very good. All right, can we all come to sit down, please? I just want to see if anybody else is typing here. The doggy paddle. Yeah. Good. All right. So we're going to come to sit down. And I just want you to watch Miss Jenna first before you guys do this. So hopefully you have enough space to come to your belly. And what we're going to do first is take your palms next to your ribs. And you're going to lift your feet off the ground. Did you see that? Can you start to kick your feet in the water and look forward? Kick your feet, kick your feet, kick your feet. Good. Now, you're going to take your arms next to your body and do one of these. Do you see how Miss Jenna is doing the stroke this way? So we're going to come to the ground. And can you kick your feet and move your arms? Kick your feet and move your arms. 
Take a big breath in and a big breath out. All right, now bring your hands next to your body. Tuck your toes, we're gonna make a beach ball. Everybody shoot your seat all the way backwards to your heels. You're gonna curve your body forward and then rest over your knees. Now beach balls are inflatable, which means you blow them up with air like a balloon, okay? So in this position, I want you to imagine that your body is blowing up with air, but very calmly. So take a big breath in and fill your whole body with air. A big breath out and blow it all the way out. Take another deep breath in and maybe you imagine the different colors that a beach ball is. And a big breath out. One more big breath in. Good, come to sit back on your heels. Okay, that was a lot of fun so far at the beach. So I remember Miss Vanessa talking about a plank pose. Today, we're gonna be calling plank pose a popsicle pose, okay? So if you can remember, mm -hmm. think about your favorite, mm -hmm. your favorite popsicle. Anybody? You know plank? Maybe you can type to me your favorite flavor of a popsicle. And I'm going to eat some watermelon. Okay. Yeah, watermelon. Me, me too. Okay. We're going to come to knees and hands first. Now, if you can have a short popsicle, and you can stay like this. Or if you want to create a huge popsicle, you're going to take your hands underneath your shoulders. And one foot at a time, you're going to step backwards and lift your body off the ground. You're gonna take a big breath in and look forward. And then a big breath out, come back to hands and knees. We're gonna do that two more times. Let's see. The red part, white and blue. Oh yeah, like the firecracker ones. Yeah. So, hands and knees, big breath in. You can stay here or big breath out and come to big popsicle. All right, two more times guys. Hands and knees, look forward. Now, just when you think you can't do it again, think about the time that you were the strongest you've ever been. And you're gonna give me one more popsicle, ready? One foot back, the other foot back. Look how strong you are. Big breath in, big breath out. Hands and knees, sit back on your heels. All right, so sometimes at the beach, you can make something that's in the shape of this or this and you put the sand all in it does anybody know what i'm talking about like you put the sand you pile it up anybody the yellow part well the yellow ones are good anybody know what you make with sand oh that's a nice mama there sand castle yes very good okay so today we're going to be making a sand castle with our body are you ready to make a sand castle with your body? Anybody? Yes. Yeah. I'm so ready. Okay. So first we're going to come to sit on our heels because we have to get a lot of sand to be able to create the sand castle. Okay. So can you imagine that you have a shovel and a rake for hands? This one's a shovel. This one's a rake. Can anybody see that? Shovel, rake, shovel, rake. Cool. Everybody got those? Maybe, maybe not. So we're gonna come to sit. You're gonna take your shovel. Can you scoop up a bunch of sand? Scoop it up, pile it up, scoop it, pile it. Can you take your rake? Can you rake it? Can you rake it a little bit to flatten out the surface? Good, scoop it. Hopefully everybody's scooping with me. Pile it up, <laughs> keep piling it. Can you rake it? Scoop, rake. Two more times, big scoop, big rake. Okay. I think we have enough sand piled up. What do you think? Is everybody good with their sand? Hands and knees. Hands and knees, hands and knees. Tuck your toes. You guys saw a downward facing dog, right? That's gonna be our huge sand castle. So everybody shoot your hips up and back. Look at your toes. Bend your knees. Pedal one leg and then the other leg. Maybe you can imagine the water going underneath your body like you're at the beach and the water's hitting your sand castle. Take a big breath in and a huge breath out. Remember, 
more ocean breath. One more big breath in. And then a huge breath out. Come back to hands and knees. Sit back on your heels. All right. What else can we find at the beach? Does anybody want to answer that question? What can we find at the beach? Seashells. Seashells. I like it. Seashells. So we're going to create a seashell with our bodies. Are you ready to create a seashell with your body? Yes. Yeah. All right. So we're going to come to our seat. And you're going to take your feet together and hold your toes. All right. Take your body up really high. I'm sure you guys are familiar with butterfly pose. But in butterfly pose, instead of just being a plain old butterfly, we're going to take our feet a little bit wider out. And I want you to imagine the shape of a seashell with your legs. And maybe you can fold your body forward a little bit. Like you're kind of trying to hide in a seashell like a crab. What do you think? Can you hide? And it doesn't matter how far into your shell you get. It just matters that you're trying, right? It doesn't matter how far down we get. It just matters that you're attempting or you're trying to be able to fit in your little shell. And maybe your shell is higher than other people's shells, right? Does that even matter? I don't think that matters. I think it just matters that you have a seashell, right? And you can make your body whatever kind of seashell you like. Take a big breath in here. And do you guys know the sound that a conch shell makes? Maybe you can imagine the Take another big breath in. Good. Now you can come back to sit crisscross applesauce. Does anybody have anything else that they want to share about what's at the beach? Because I have a couple of things, but I'm going to wait to see if anybody else wants to share. Do we like sharing? No? There's some fishies. So we're going to be a shark. So let's come down to our bellies. A shark. A shark, yeah. Now, you're going to take your hands behind you. Can you hold your own hand? This is going to be your sharky fin. You can bring a cheek to the floor or the mat. And can you take your sharky fin and can you weave it from side to side? Side to side. And maybe you can feel a big stretch in your shoulders. When you hold your own hand and you rock from side to side, we're stretching out our shoulders. Whoa. All right, now bring your hands next to your body and sit back to beach ball, please. So you're gonna sit back on your heels, and bring your head to the ground. Okay, you're gonna take a big breath there and another big breath out. I have two more fun friends at the beach, okay? The first one is a turtle and the second one is a crab, all right? So the first one is our turtle. We're gonna take our legs out to a V. Can you create a V with your legs? I'll give you a moment to get there. Okay, so after we create a V with our legs, excuse me, I'm just gonna take a sip of water. Okay, you're gonna bend your knees a little bit. So say these were straight legs, we're just gonna bend a little, little bit. Now you're gonna take your arms and can you hide them under your legs? All right, so that's part one. Take your arms and hide them under your legs. Now remember butterfly pose or seashell pose? We're gonna bring our feet together. That's gonna create our turtle shell. All right, so let's see how far we can hide in our turtle shell. Can you see Miss Jenna's arms? <laughs> Maybe you can look down at your toes. Can you rock from side to side? I'm gonna do that two more times just so you can see what I did. Your legs are out to a V. I'll do it this way this time. Bend your knees, hide your arms in your legs, bring your feet together like butterfly or seashell, and then can you hide your body down, down, down in your shell? Am I not turtle enough for the turtle club? <laughs> this is fun. Good. So maybe you want to stay a little bit longer in your turtle. I'm going to see if anybody is coral. I agree. I do see lots of coral at the beach. Shells. I don't know if you can unmute on an iPad, but I do see lots of coral at the beach. You're right. All right, guys. So if you're in turtle pose, bring your legs open, 
untuck your arms, and can you shake them out for me? <laughs> Good. You're going to take your feet crisscross applesauce. And our last fun friend at the beach is going to be crab. So bottoms on the floor, soles of your feet. Does anybody know what the sole of your foot is? <laughs> the bottom, right? Yeah. Crab walk. We are going to do a crab walk. So you're going to take your bottom and your feet to the ground. And then you're going to bring your hands back behind you, but you want your fingertips, the tops of your fingers, facing towards your heels. You're going to press your hands and your feet into the ground and lift up your seat. Now, can you imagine that you're walking to the ocean? Can you walk to the ocean for me? Whoa, lift your bottom up. Make, a make, a make muscles with your belly. And then look forward or look up at the ceiling. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Good. Drop your bottom. Hold your knees, give yourself a huge hug. Like, I love this big crab. Yeah, big hug, big hug. Okay, one more time. Feet to the ground. Who's ready to be a crabby with me? Feet down, bottom up, keep walking. Can you walk on backwards? Can you walk on forwards? Okay, come to sit. Hug your knees. Very good. All right, we're gonna sit crisscross applesauce. Good. We're going to take a big breath in and lift our arms like sunshine arms. And a big breath out. <sighs> Ocean breath. Three more times to calm down our body. Big breath in, lift your arms. Big breath out. <sighs> Good. A couple more times. Big breath in. Big breath out. <sighs> Very nice. Now, can you make little cups with your hands? and place them on your knees. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love pretzels, and I want to twist my body like a pretzel. So the last thing we're going to do is, we're going to take our right hand, and can you hold your left knee with your right hand? Now, I'm going to turn to the side so you can see my body, and then can you twist your body backwards and put your left hand behind you and give yourself a nice twist in your belly, like the center of a pretzel. Big breath in. A nice, slow breath out. Good. Come back to center. Hold both of your knees. And then we're going to go to the opposite side. So left hand, right knee, right hand behind you. Twist your body like the center of a pretzel. And you can look backwards or forwards. Mmm, I love pretzels. They can be soft. They can be crunchy. And I actually found this new pretzel that's called cassava flour. And it's actually a root vegetable. It's really good for your body. Take a big breath in and come back to center. Very nice. Okay, we have two options for our beach day meditation. You can either lay completely down with your knees bent and your hands on your belly, or you can take your legs all the way up to the sky and you can either rest them on a desk or the wall or a couch, however you'd like. And we're gonna imagine that we have a beach ball in our bellies. Okay, so close down your eyes and imagine that you're blowing up a beach ball with your belly. So blow your belly up real big, real big. And then when you blow out, gently deflate the beach ball. Okay, so two more times like that. Big breath in, blow up your beach ball. And then big breath out. Another nice deep breath in. Blow up your belly really big. And then big breath out. Good. Now hug your knees in. Hug, hug, hug your knees. Very nice. Now drop your feet to the floor, please. And can you take one hand to your belly and one hand to your heart? And if it feels good to keep your eyes closed, you can keep your eyes closed. And imagine that you're laying on a beautiful, comfortable beach towel, and you are imagining all of the clouds floating overhead. And there's a huge, beautiful, warm sunshine behind the clouds. And on every cloud is something written that you don't like. So with every breath in, you're gonna breathe in beautiful sunny energy. And with every breath out, you're gonna blow your clouds away. 
until there's no more clouds up above your head. So two more like that, breathe in, and then blow all those dark clouds away. One more big breath in, and this time really blow all of that away until all you can see is sunshine. Good, come to hug your knees again and gently roll up to a comfortable seat. Crisscross applesauce. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I had so much fun with you. I hope you had a great day at the beach with me. I'm gonna come a little bit closer. If anybody has any questions for me or if anybody wants to know any information, I'm so excited to hear from you. Thank you, Miss Oh, thank you guys. So good to hear you. Hey, hey. So I'm just gonna type in my information here. If anybody needs me. I am. Hello. Did anybody say anything? <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna leave down. Thank you so much, Miss Gemma. And remember that you can see her in real life at Ursel Webb Park next Tuesday at 9.15. So join us to do some mindfulness and yoga practices. We'll hopefully get to see some of you there. But thanks so much for joining us, everybody. And if anyone is interested in learning Spanish, right after this, in 10 minutes at 11 a.m., Mr. William, who we met, was it last week or the week before? He uh, teaches Spanish on Zoom. So if you go to our website, you can get the Zoom link and you can learn some Spanish. You have 10 minutes break. Then go practice your ABCs in Espanol. Okay. Yes, and, and Five Corners is going to be having some parking lot events. So we'll get that information out soon. We're trying to make sure we have everything coordinated. So we have some fun things planned here too. So yeah, Miss Emily and I are from Five Corners, by the way. I know we didn't say that in the beginning. We kind of just jumped into our stories. <laughs> And then next week we have Mario, the maker magician, or I've been calling him Mario, the steam magician. And he is also very interesting. He has a robot that does magic tricks. Um, a robot that apparently anybody can make. Oops. So I was thinking you know, I could share the video since we do have a few minutes. Anyone wanna see some Maker ma magic, unless anyone has any questions for Miss Gemma, I haven't been reading the chat. Okay. But yes, hopefully we'll get to see some people in real life and you have her Instagram handle, her email address. And, uh, anyone is interested as a preview of next week here is a sample let me make it big so this is a robot that he made from cardboard whoa interesting very cool yeah so this is his youtube channel so the robot does all of these different magic tricks and then he wow. teaches you how to make different a banana pig puppet a draw bot so he's very interesting apparently he's been on sesame street because his uh his robot has all sorts of expressions i love it right 
and apparently yeah he can yeah. teach people how to do it i'm sure that's another class but let's see more for a second what did i just watch Bye -bye. right so tune in next week so that you can see more of mario the maker magician you can check out his website mario the magician and hey tell your friends if you know someone that would like to join us anyone's allowed to join so you can just sign up on zoom and uh and experience mario okay Oh, mom, I just blow. It's it. Yeah. Well, that was a cool um video, though. Yeah, well, I'll share his link to the website, and you can explore. He's got lots of videos. As I said, he's been on Sesame Street. And these are all things that you can do. And eventually, we're going to have some maker spaces in the library once we're open to having um, programs in the library. So maybe we can even have him teach us how to make a magician robot. Oops, I just did it directly. Let me send it. Maybe you guys can help him make some some different faces besides just it seems like he's angry or surprised. So maybe <laughs> we can get some other faces in there. You guys can like invent the, you know, happy face or you know, what other some other expressions? Sleepy face. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway so yeah we're so happy that you could join us and i don't know do people still have classes or is there people still in school summer school do you have a, another class to head to well yes yes that's yes. no and yes <laughs> hello yes uh they are on their way to their next class okay so we'll let you, I wasn't sure how it worked because I know before oh, I mean, like, I've got math class now. <laughs> yes, Miss Bullock's class can leave. Who's that? They can, they can end it. I wasn't sure if, if people do have places to go, we'll end it right on time. So we make sure you have, everyone has time to get some water, use the bathroom before 11 o'clock. Oh, thank you. So, we really enjoy. Yeah, we're happy to Nevaya, have you. you can log off, Navaya. Everybody, Miss Bullock's class can log off. Thank you okay. so much. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Cool summer. Bye, cool Friday. Friday. Enjoy, happy Fourth of July weekend. Stay cool. And thank you, Miss Gemma. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, all. I'm gonna end it. Bye.